Hello, my name is Victor. I'm, I'm going to present a library written by a friend of mine. And uh, let's go. Let's go. So Dynamics is hosted on GitHub, and uh, it's about composing and modifying objects at runtime. It's also very hard to explain in five minutes, but I'm going to try. So suppose we have a hostile AI component which has an act method in which we find the good guys, we move to them, and then we attack them. We also have a player controller component which also has an act method, and uh, we read some keyboard input, and maybe we move to the left. We also have a flying creature component which has a move to method in which we flap our wings and uh, possibly update our position. So we might uh, multiply inherit from this, but then how do they communicate with each other? So we might we use CRTP with uh, compile time mixings, but then everything ends up in header files. And uh, also we can't have an array of the compositive objects unless each of the components inherits virtually from a common base class. But even then we have problems like uh, we, we, if we have an array of pointers to such objects, they don't have a, anything in common. There's no common interface. So if we use multiple inheritance with virtual base classes and no CRTP, and uh, all possible methods as are in the base class as virtual, then there, there's a combinatorial explosion of manually added types. The base class is a coupling focal point with the huge interface. And also, we can't modify objects at one time. We can't remove and add components. So, there is the interface to component pattern in which there's an object class which has a bunch of pointers, which are pointers to different interfaces. And uh, the hostile AI component can be implemented by inheriting from the control um, interface. And in its act method, it can access the self, which is a pointer to the object it's in, and uh, get the mobility component and call move to from it. And um, here we can make a dragon object. We can uh, assign the mobility interface a uh, flying creature implementation. We can assign the control interface a hostile air implementation. We can make it act. And then we can swap at runtime the implementation of the control interface. But here, each new interface has to be added as a pointer to the object class. <clears throat> and we also. Uh, what happens if we want to implement an interface partially? So, with Dynamics, we make a dragon object and we mutate it by adding the hostile AI and the flying creature components. Then we call act on it. Then we can mutate it again by removing the hostile AI component and adding the player control component. And when we call act on the dragon, we actually get, uh, we actually call act from the player component class. And uh, the hostile AI component will look like the following. It has an act method, <coughs> which um, the, uh, the class doesn't inherit from anything. And to call move to, we use the end this, which is something like self. It's a way to refer to the object we're currently into. Dynamics has three building blocks, objects, messages, and mixings. So messages are global function-like pieces of interface which objects might implement. Mixings are uh, component classes you write that implement different messages. These are not to be confused with CRTP mixings. Dynamic stands for dynamic mixings. Also, we use the library by mutating objects by adding and removing mixings at runtime, and we also call messages on these objects, which is like methods. Also, the object is always first. Oh, fuck, I need some water. Whoa. Sorry for this. Uh, <laughs> First time speaking. So object is always first as a parameter, and that uh, is unfortunate that there is no uniform call syntax in C++ yet. Um, messages can be uncast and multicast. Uncast messages are um, only one mixing within an object can implement the unicast message. Um, if we want to have more implementers to the unicast message, they have to have different priorities. And only the one with the highest priority gets called. That's why we can implement shallowing and overriding. Also, we can have multicast messages. And in that case, multiple mixings within the object can implement the same, um, the same message. And when we call it, it gets called for all the mixings. And that's why we can implement a realization for all mixings within the object. Um, also, Dynamics is, um, it enforces the good use of uh, object-oriented practices. 
and it's also perfect when we're dealing with complex polymorphic objects, which are commonly found in games or big software. And uh, also, uh, it's very useful for plugin switch and reach the business logic of our program by, yeah, with mixings. That's it. Yeah.